we're given the function f of x equals 3x squared plus 8x minus 2, and we're asked to calculate the following values. In general, when using function notation, f of the input is equal to the output. So looking at the function values we're asked to determine, they're giving us the input, and our goal is to determine the corresponding output, which means to determine the value of f of 0, because the input variable is x, we substitute 0 for x here and here. So f of 0 is equal to 3 times 0 squared plus 8 times 0 minus 2. Again, notice how we substituted 0 for x in our function f of x. And now to find the function value of the corresponding output, we simplify the right side. So following the order of operations, we would simplify the exponents first. Of course, 0 squared is 0. So showing our work, this would be 3 times 0 plus 8 times 0 minus 2. Next, we multiply. Well, 3 times 0 is 0, and so is 8 times 0. So we'd have 0 plus 0 minus 2, which equals negative 2. So f of 0 is equal to negative 2, which means when the input is 0, corresponding output is negative 2. Next, we want to determine the value of f of 2. So now we'll substitute 2 for the input variable x. So f of 2 is equal to 3 times 2 squared plus 8 times 2 minus 2. Now simplifying, we simplify the exponents first. 2 squared is equal to 4, so we have 3 times 4 plus 8 times 2 minus 2. Next we multiply. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 8 times 2 is 16. And adding and subtracting from left to right, 12 plus 16 equals 28, minus 2 equals 26. f of 2 equals 26, which means for the given function, when the input is 2, the output is 26. Next we have f of negative 2. So we'll substitute negative 2 for the input variable x. f of negative 2 is equal to 3 times the square of negative 2. We need the negative 2 in parentheses to make sure we have two factors of negative 2. Then we have plus 8 times negative 2 minus 2. Simplifying, we'll simplify the square of negative 2, which is negative 2 times negative 2, which equals positive 4. So we have 3 times 4 plus 8 times negative 2 minus 2. Multiplying, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. And now adding and subtracting from left to right, 12 plus negative 16 is negative 4. So we have negative 4 minus 2, which equals negative 6. f of negative 2 equals negative 6, which again means for the given function, when the input is negative 2, the output is negative 6. Next, we have f of the quantity x plus 1. So we'll follow the same procedure, even though the input is the expression x plus 1. So if we substitute x plus 1 for x, f of the quantity x plus 1 is equal to 3 times x squared will be the quantity x plus 1 squared, plus 8x will be 8 times the quantity x plus 1, and then minus 2. And notice how on the right it says do not simplify, which means we can stop here. We do not have to multiply this out and combine like terms. So f of the quantity x plus 1 equals 3 times the quantity x plus 1 squared plus 8 times the quantity x plus 1 minus 2. And then finally we have f of negative x. Following the same procedure, we'll substitute or replace the input variable x with negative x. So f of negative x is equal to 3 times the square of negative x plus 8 times negative x minus 2. Well, the square of negative x is equal to negative x times negative x, which equals positive x squared. So this would be 3x squared, and then plus 8 times negative x would be negative 8x, so plus negative 8x, and then minus 2. We don't have any like terms here, 
but adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So let's write plus negative 8x as just minus 8x, which is more common. So f of negative x equals 3x squared minus 8x minus 2. I hope you found this helpful.